Hey guys, I just wanted to make this, um, vlog three, um, <clears throat> about, you know, the holidays coming up and the reflection on this past year and pretty much to give hope to, you know, a lot of those people out there who said, hey, I've got a lot going on and I don't know if I really want to deal with this anymore. Um, okay, well, I hope to be more funny by giving more dog situations. Okay, anyway, um, first off, I just want to say, um, I hope you have a merry, merry Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays. Look, <laughs> I even got Christmas nails going on right now. Yeah, it's, I really love it. It's my favorite holiday. I just love being able to get to get stuff. It's, it's really great. And then celebrating the birth of my savior. It's pretty awesome. Um, I guess to kind of reflect on this past year, a lot has gone on. In my family, I lost my great grandmother. I found out two people in my family have cancer. But you know, a lot of awesome things have happened too. You know, I got to go to Paris and London. I got to graduate high school. I'm in college now. Like, so much has happened within this past year that, I, I mean, look, I even made color guard. I never thought I was going to be able to do that. But I did. And I'm here today. Danny as a, as a color guard member at my university, and you know, the, you really you just can't dread the bad things in life. You know, I could focus on the fact that my mom has breast cancer, or that my uh, great uncle has lung cancer, or the fact that my great grandmother died. But you know, I'd rather not focus on that. You know what? My great grandmother was 98. She's with Jesus now. It's okay. <laughs> and you know, my uncle, he has been smoking all my life, pretty much. So it really doesn't surprise me. I mean, it happens. And then my mom, you know, she's alive. And that's all that matters. And she had her she had surgery and she officially has no more cancer left in her, but she still has to do radiation. So that they make sure it's gone. But you know what? She's alive. She's here. There's always positive. And there's no, there's nobody on this earth that can sit here and throw a pity party about themselves, about anything that happens bad in their life. Because you know what? You're not being positive at all. You're not trying to look out for the good situation. I could sit here and be like, two people in my family have cancer. My great grandmother passed away. I don't have a boyfriend. I'm going to die lonely. Eh. No. Think I really care? No. I don't need a boyfriend. I'm positive. I can live just fine on my own. If I get one, that's great. That's awesome. But you know what? I don't have one, and that's totally fine with me. And I'm totally confident with that. So, yeah. And then, you know, my great grandmother did pass away, but I'm fine with it. She's off to a better place. And I don't need to throw myself a pity party when I could be positive. And, you know, have a party in the pit. When things go bad, you don't have to keep making them worse with your attitude. If you have a positive attitude, things can go a lot better. I promise. I could be moping right now, but I'm not. And I guess that's kind of what this whole year has brought to me. is kind of a fresh perspective. Like a, a fresh way to see life. Like, don't take advantage of it, you know, you might sit here and talk negatively towards your, your parents or something, but you know what, they're not going to be here forever, you can't promise it, but they'll still be here tomorrow, you need to love them while they're here, and spend as much time as possible, and I mean, being away from my family, having all this stuff happen to my family, it's helped me realize that family's everything. Friends, friends are only temporary, but family's forever. And that's really true. And I know you'll hear people say that, and you'll be like, you know, it's whatever, I can worry about it later. No. It's really true. Family is forever. And my brother has been a big help in everything this past year. And I, I really love it for that. I love him for that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, even though friends are temporary, there are some friends that they're in your heart for a long time, you know. I mean, Chris, my best friend, he 
he he has been like by my side through this entire year, and you know what? He still continues, even though I'm four hours away from home. He still continues to be by my side and be my best friend no matter what, even from four hours away. I like that. Um, and then you know, there's the friends that I've met at college, the friends that I have back home. That I mean, I might not keep in touch with you. I'm sorry. I I love you. I do. But I just, I'm not good at keeping in touch with people or the people at school who, you know, I, like my roommate, I wake up and say hey to her every morning. And, you know, if it weren't for this past year, I never would have met her. I would she would have not ever been a part of my life. But you know what? I would have, I would have lost out. She's really important. And, you know, all, all the girls in my suite are really important to me. And I, I love them all dearly. And, you know... This past year has taught me just to enjoy life, man. Because you don't know when will be your last day. So, yeah, I mean, don't live like tomorrow will be your last day because then you'll just be frantic and and fluttered and all that. Just live how you, if you could see, if you died tomorrow, you would be okay with how your life was. That's how you need to live. For me, that's trying to live and be nice to people and and kind and and just do everything I can. That's pretty much what I've learned this year, and I really hope that. I mean, I don't know how next year is going to go. I there's no way to predict it, and I don't want to predict it. I just hope that it goes well. And I learned a lot this past year, and. I can only hope that I'll learn a lot next year, but I hope that it doesn't come with as much heartache as this past year. But you, you never know. Life likes to throw those little curveballs at you and be like, well, here you go. I know you're tough enough to handle this, so here you go. Yeah. And um, I'm like, really right now? Really got to do that? But, yeah, it's all for a good reason, and you end up being a stronger person. I'm a lot stronger person now than I was a year ago today. I would not have, like, if all of this was put on my plate a year ago today, I would not have been able to deal with it. But you know what? Things slowly built up, and I am okay with it, and I am accepting, and I just, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I really, I just, I wanted to let y'all know that and just try to look at the positive because if you're going to be a negative Nancy, that's how your life's going to be, pretty much. So just try to be positive all the time. And if you think you're lonely and all this junk, no. You're just psyching yourself out. You are perfect the way you are. You don't need a guy or a girl or whatever to make you happy. You are perfect just the way you are. And I love you for it. I might not know you, but I love you for it, and, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you have someone by your side, as long as you have friends and family who love you, and that you love yourself, not like the creepy, perverse kind of way, <laughs> but like, if you just love yourself as a human, and as you are, like, I might, I might not be perfect, but I am me. And as being me and being true to myself, I'm perfect. You know what I'm saying? Because perfect isn't what society makes it. Perfect is actually just fulfilling your purpose in life. So, we're all perfect in a way if we're fulfilling our purpose. Get me? You feel me? Yeah? Okay. Um, alright, well, I guess thanks for watching and... You know, like I said earlier, Merry Christmas. I know it's going to be great. I can't wait. And um, I hope you have a very awesome New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and your celebration in general. I hope that you get a big old New Year's kiss. God knows I probably won't, but, um, you know, got to look out for all you lovebirds. And um, if you, you know what, you know how people say that? And then the people who are like, oh, I probably won't. You're going to get all sad about it. And Sean, don't get sad. You know what? You don't need nobody. You should be happy just the way you are. Got it? Get it?
good. Yeah.